guys and welcome back to another decorating video with me today we are going to do some summer decorating i'm super excited to give you guys some ideas and some ways of decorating to really bring in that summer refresh that bright clean and crisp feeling of summer cozy and welcoming without having to go and just buy a whole bunch of decor this is more of some tips to bring in summer in your home without decor so we'll just go ahead and get right into it Decorating for me is all about how can I make that space welcoming and cozy no matter what the season is. And I think something that a lot of people think is when they hear the word cozy, making things cozy, they think fall or winter. And I have to disagree. I think cozy can be all year long. It's just adding elements to your home that make it fresh and welcoming and a place that you can feel comfortable and so so one way to add in that cozy summer feeling of your home to refresh it without just having to go and buy a whole bunch of decor is by incorporating some linens pillows and throws that match your style we are going with blue yellow and green for summer it's very light, very fresh, very welcoming colors. So we have the two pattern pillows there that bring in all of those colors. And then as you saw on the oversized chairs, we have that blue color as well. We love incorporating blue and blue is really trending this year. You've probably seen in a lot of stores, you see that color. And then a lot of summer home magazines, you're seeing a lot of blues. So we're adding in those colors and then adding in that throw at the end of the bed that just adds in that extra cozy feeling. The second way that I love to incorporate that summer refresh touch to your home is by incorporating lemons. I love lemons, fake lemons, real lemons. I think they look beautiful in your home. When you think of summer, you cannot disagree with me that you don't immediately think of fresh lemonade. And that's exactly what I want people to come inside the home and then see the lemons. They automatically get that summer feeling. So side note, we are at my mother-in-law's house right now. For those of you that are new here, hi, I'm so happy you're here. I hope you stick around. Say hi in the comments. Let me know where you're from. I love to see people all around different areas watching the videos and getting inspiration because I live in Central Florida. So it's always fun to see if people are local or if they're farther away. But Anyways, we are at my mother-in-law's house. She lives five, minute down, five minutes down the road from us and she loves when I decorate her home. So she's running her company. She's super busy all of the time. She'll give me her credit card, tell me to go shopping, come back and decorate. It's the best of both worlds for me. So I do include her home as well as mine on my channel. I share a lot more of mine, but every now and then, every couple of months, I'll share an update of her home. So something else besides adding lemons to the home for summer is adding blooms. And here we are, I'm switching out a plant that she had, a fox plant there, um, with more of a summery pitcher, as well as lemons. I also love including pictures if you guys saw my last summer decorating my kitchen summer decorate at my house I included a lot of lemons and a lot of those pictures because again the fresh lemonade feeling but also including blooms some of my favorite summer blooms are just really any greenery branches I love hydrangeas you guys know I have a real one on my patio I love cutting from that one and using that fresh lavender pinoise I always say that flower wrong um wildflowers there's so many different summer stems if you are able to go cut them fresh from your garden oh that would be such a beautiful touch for summer but if you are unable to they have beautiful fake stems of all those summer florals at Hobby Lobby the third way I like to bring in summer in the kitchen since we're already in the kitchen here is by putting your cookbook on a summer recipe page that just automatically gives you that summer feeling, it's summer decor, and a fun little summer recipe that you could use. Another way that I like to just really make the home welcoming and invited and cozy is adding in some nature inspired items. So we love pops of color as you can see here in her mudroom. The shiplap is blue and you'll see a lot of blue in my home as well. We're using a lot of blues, a lot of yellows, a lot of greens. So we like to add in those nature inspired pieces as well to kind of balance it all. Another great thing that I think would be absolutely beautiful in a home for summertime 
time is the summer bucket list. And we didn't do this for Deanna's, that's my mother-in-law's name. We didn't do that for Deanna's house for this video, but we're going to be decorating my living room for summer. Um, next week I think or maybe this week so make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you're alerted when I post that video but I am going to make a summer bucket list and I am going to keep that out on our coffee table and use that as a decor piece because I just feel like for families summer just means a lot of splashing in pools and lakes and waters just of all sorts swimming snacking on s'mores popsicles just really soaking up the sunshine and the memories with your family and so i feel like for any family whether it's one thing five thing ten things that you want to do that summer it's really fun to get together and just kind of make more of a little realistic summer bucket list and just have it out and it will be really fun especially if you have kids so we're going to do that whenever we decorate my home but I wanted to share that tip um, here so if you're watching this and that's something that you want to do definitely let me know in the comments if you do it because I think that would be a super fun thing so now we're going to talk about decor and this is only going to take a couple seconds because I talk about decor and I shop for decor <laughs> in every single video so you guys already know this tip but adding in decor definitely can add to whatever season you're decorating for and we're just again decorating with fruit inspired items florals greenery and then all the colors that we love to use we're heading into her dining room area now and I want to talk to you guys about seasonless decor. So I love to talk about seasonless decor whenever I'm decorating because I feel like we can use those basic decor pieces and items in our home that we just use all year, throughout the whole year. You don't have to go buy anything new, just use what you already have that match the same color. So here. We're using just a regular white pitcher with some greenery. We have a tray that we've already had, candlesticks. I guess we can say that we did include one summer piece. We have a little yellow bird, but we use that for our fall decorating as well. So here we're just using items that we already have. This is just really honestly seasonless decor. You can use this over and over and over again. We just put them all together and it just really makes the room feel very simple and inviting. We didn't want to overdo it. I feel like that's another thing with summer is that you want to keep things simple and clean. For Halloween, for fall, for Christmas, we can really get out of hand. I think everybody can. We do a whole tablescape. We add in dishes and it's more accepting because Everybody expects a home to be a little bit overwhelming for those seasons, you know, but for summer we want it to be simple and clean. So just really keep just bringing out that seasonless decor and just keeping an area very simple can go a long way. I love also bringing out framed pictures, framed prints, and reflective pieces and decor. And this is not just for summer, this is for all year round as well. So right here, this is the entryway. She just bought those beautiful mirrors that are above. It comes in a three piece, but it's all like one. You know what I'm saying? And it's absolutely beautiful. Those are actually from Home Depot, believe it or not. If you guys have any questions on where any of this decor is from, let me know in the comments and I can let you know where every single piece is from. Again, if she bought it, I know about it because she told me where it's from and then half of it I've went out and shopped for her and got. So if you need to know where anything is from, ask me in the comments, I'll let you know. And half the time I can remember the price as well. So there for the entryway, we just layered it with some framed pictures and again, some greenery, some of that senseless decor, and then some of that nature inspired color as well. Few things guys bring me more joy, honestly, than making my home cozy and decorating for seasons. I just love to have an inviting and welcoming home. We're over here. I'm showing you guys some clips from my house now. If you guys didn't check out my spring decorating video, I think you would really enjoy that and get some good ideas, even though it's summer now or about to be summer. And I also did a kitchen summer decorate as well last week. So I'll link these videos in the description box. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video and got a lot of ideas and some decorating inspiration i hope you guys give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell notification so that you don't miss any future uploads thank you guys again so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video bye